Oh god. Let's go. Well, good morning from the Adventure Wagon, everybody. We're actually getting ready to transfer wagons. I'm with my buddy Lunkers TV, starting out the new year, second fishing trip. We are heading out east. We're gonna get an early start to the day. We got a long drive out to the tall pines. We're gonna see what these large mouth are doing out there. Easy all American fisherman who fish anywhere. Anywhere there's water. Rob Turkle, he gonna be there. Hey, baby! Riding in the new old school DC. Listen to that thing purr, baby. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. It's just saying America. You know you're an E-team when you get that Hunt Brothers pizza. <laughs> Holler if you know about Hunt Brothers. Oh yeah, baby. Just rolled up to the ramp in ET and it is loaded out here with boats. Uh, if you guys are checking out Rob's channel as well, he's doing a rundown. Uh, he's already been out here uh, a few times, done pretty well. This is a rare opportunity. We usually take my boat on a lot of these dangle trips, so I'm just kind of along for the ride today and it feels good. Feels very good, but I am gonna start his boat for him. Give her a little launch pad here. And uh, we're good. It's really nice having the same exact boat, know where everything is. But I do have to say, Rob's, Rob's boat is, whew, it just has a look to it. It's got this like galactic green going on with it with a stardust sort of black base color. It's like horses back in the old day, you know, you got your sorrels, you got your paints, you just got different horses, but they got the same gallop. Yeah. We're gonna take it a little cautious. I'm gonna show you, you wanna see, I got these things, oh, I can't drag this thing. Look at these, I got, they're called danger, danger nuggets. You wanna see some danger nuggets today? I, got some, I don't want to see them close. No, I'm gonna. I'll drive by and slow down. I got some danger nuggets <laughs> marked that are sketch scary, scary. Maybe they'll have fish on them. Maybe. No, I got one dude, with. If there's just a slight chop, it's it's underwater. But when the waves come like this, it comes out of water. You can see it. It's like a serious danger nugget. It's a, a it like peekaboos. Yeah, it's, it's a, a peekaboo. Peek That's another reason I do not want to drive Rob's boat because there are some. Widowmakers out here. We definitely don't want to hit those with uh, thank you, fun and sun boats. We're letting us borrow these things, by the way. Around the, the banks, you can see just fields of stumps. Kind of reminds me of the old fort. Any, pretty much anywhere in East Texas, you're going to have a lot of trees. You get more trees, grass, and I, I really like fishing grass more in the wintertime. It just seems to be like it, it holds more fish. I just have more confidence than fishing in like a clear rocky lake, you know, at least in Texas. There's another one. I need, oh boy, look at this selection. You've got pretty much every skew. All right, here's what I'm gonna do on a trailer. I'm gonna start off the day big and then go backwards if I need to. Dude, I'm so glad no one's down here. You know? I know there's fish in this bag. Oh, I know, there's and I've got there. Mr. One Ounce ready. Ooh, ooh, that is a, just a bomber. You fishing back there? Yeah, you want me to? No, it's kind of weird. Okay. You want me to get up here on this big... I, want you to get on my deck. I, I try to fall down at least once a day out cool. on the water. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's... See, this is why I went on the back deck, Rob. Because this is what happens. <laughs> Look at that nice $600 reel that's... <laughs> Woo! There we hey, go. Hey, hey, Rackley, can you come up here? And then I'm going to cast right into your... <laughs> thing that you just rigged up <laughs> you know at least nothing broke like no, nothing broke i just caught your line and 
Something will break. It'll be my next hook set. Rob is not on any stimulants. Yeah, it's just a hundred percent. I'm happy. All natural. I just can't believe that just happened. I mean, there you go. Look buddy. at that. That's that's. All right, I'm gonna just get just back here. Go back here and regroup for a sec. You Got to retie. I'll let you take the front, buddy. Okay. Cause, uh, is it safe? I mean, look at this. I'm gonna have some leverage. I'll tell you that much. You know. <sighs> Oh yeah, just giving it the old snip. All right, well, I'm, I'm just gonna put this one ouncer thick jig. Guggen Squat Thick Jig. This is uh, this is what you do with one ounce jigs. This is one thing you can do. I can punch it through the grass, but right now I'm kind of putting it in the in the holes, about six, six feet of water. I've got that full blown crack and crawl in there, no no biting off of the tips. It's just all in there. And I'm trying to find a fish that's thinking of spawning because it's 63 degrees. They're going to move up here, nestle in the veg, get comfortable. And then when the, all conditions are right, release the fluids, release the eggs, release, you know, you get it. You take biology, you know, you understand. Let's get our little swimmer going. This is a quarter ounce. Got a saucy swimmer on there, blue gill color. We got real thick grass, got edges. That's the juice right there. Look at that fish on the graph. He's on the edge, sliding. Oh, baby, got him. Get out of your way there. We are. High five. There we go. Good That's start. a good first fish, man. My first fish was like a white bass about that long. <laughs> My first fish of 2020. All right, y'all, we're making a switch right here. Oh, Rob's got one. Do I need to switch is the question. I just flipped into a pot in the, in the, in the shallow. No, right in a hole. Oh, in the hole. Okay. Right hole. I'm going to go ahead and, and rig this up. This is probably my all time favorite grass fishing, moving bait uh, combo over the last, well, I'll say not all time favorite. My Probably my all time favorite is, uh, it's like a, a vibrating jig or chatterbait style. But over the past few years in clear water, especially, this is the dealio right here. So this is a five out hook, quarter ounce with a uh, willow blade on it. And I've got this rigged on uh, a saucy swimmer. I was gonna throw this bait right here, which is um, the Mike Buka bull shad. And honestly, I haven't I haven't thrown it that much. I really just wanna catch some fish on it, but uh, it's, there's so much grass in here. The hooks are getting caught a lot in the grass. So this is gonna allow me to swim through that grass. So I'm still gonna keep my, uh, my big punching rig ready to go. I'm probably gonna go with a uh, also a lighter jig that I can throw into holes have a swim jig and then have this right here so essentially all plastics and all skirts I'm, not, I'm starting to see the holes now okay I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna throw on the outside here just for a minute because I feel like I could get a whopper Ooh, that's a fat, fat oh dude my drag wasn't set he absolutely inhaled that thing, dude. That's a good one. All right, so I decided to uh, make that little switch there and throw on the outside of the grass, and he's got this thing. Just yeah, I did. I, I did end up getting a good hook set. Look at that. Woo! Yeah. That's I don't know. It's up getting up there in the almost the fours. Probably nice fish right there, y'all. So just fishing on the outside of that grass, slow rolling this thing. It looks like we've got fish up there in the shallows, like in the grass. And then we've also got some on the outside edge. So we're gonna stick with this game plan right here. The holes provide a little sunlight. So the bass can actually make their beds in these holes and you won't be able to see them until you get right on top of them. And by that time, it's too late. They're going under the grass mat. So what Rob's doing here, he's pitching up into those holes where they could potentially be sitting. I'm on a different program. We're doing two different strategies. I'm, I've been kind of just throwing out in the middle and on the edges, uh, waiting for the hangers. 
uh, to move up because we're really not sure. We're, we're kind of going into the back of the pocket right now and seeing if there's any activity on beds. Uh, if not, really where we've had the most bites is on just little staging areas, little points. This is when Rob gets the most excited. I can see a bed. Is, is when there's the potential of the bedding. This is most exciting time. And it's weird because, I mean, we're literally in January, but our water's 63. They're on the cusp. So if you guys want to uh, check out our saucy swimmers, if you haven't yet, you should. Uh, they're great swim baits. Everyone needs boot tail swim baits in their box. Check out the saucies. We got three, three, three eights, four eights as well. So we can accommodate anything from pond grass fishing all the way out to deep a rigging if you want to. But we've got it all. And how I've got it rigged is exactly how I have caught fish this time of year, all through spring, for the last three years in heavy grass, it is, Rob, is it not just the juice pie? It's actually one of my top three favorite techniques. Top three favorite techniques from that guy right there. I would also agree. It's so easy to use. It catches big fish. You know, I just caught a four pounder, um, especially when you throw a bigger one, like if you throw the four eight, um, and just throw you, throw you a five odd hook on there, slow roll it, and watch that little booty bounce right there. It's saucy. Link for the saucies, top of the description, shopcarls.com. Do yourself a favor, it's 2020. You're gonna be buying tackle throughout the year. Sign up to be a Shop Carl's member, uh, Carl's Club member. You'll save 30% off pretty much everything, like 99%, so that's 30% off Guggen Baits, all of our Guggen Squad, everything, uh, and a lot of their baits as well, pretty much everything. So sign up, save you some money, start doing it into the depths i love you sweetie oh <sighs> clear up the sinuses get back in that grass sweetheart Ew! love you long time i'm i'm going for sally out in the middle <laughs> slow grinding on the swim bait that's, 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 yeah Y'all, I've fished for the last two hours without a bite. Just grinding, flipping, oh my. wrist gets tired, picking up the swim bait, going, struggling though. Yeah. Gonna be real with you. So we're going completely different sides of the lake. Try to get something over there. Get it going. Still looking for that elusive five pound bass in 2020. Brisk little run there. Uh, my partner forgot a jacket. And it's getting cold. Uh, the weather has decided to turn back to winter. It was spring this morning. So uh, we're gonna try to get a few more fish in this pocket, y'all. But I'm grinding, I'm grinding out here. The effort, I'm putting it in. Up there, like up there on the bank. Oh, there's a bed. There's a bed right there though, you see it? Is that a fish in the oh, God, it moved. Just got bumpedied. Just got bumpedied, probably a cruiser. A little defense mode. Yeah, there's a bass right there swimming off the side yep. of the log coming this way. Defense mode see, cruiser. See, look at these. If the water was up, this boy here is probably pretty big. Whoa, look at going on that's got to be a bass. What else is up there right now? Saw him, saw him cruising up in the shallows, getting ready y'all, getting ready to do the dance. The biggins are just hanging. But man, a couple weeks, we get some warm weather. Shoot boo! They're gonna be loaded up here on the banks. If they were, if, if we just had warm weather. I can bed fish from outer space in this stuff. Look at this water. Yeah, this is what in the world? no wonder no one was down there where we what were. What in the world? Yeah. No wonder we were the only idiots down south. This is, this is impressive. Clean and deep, dude. This is impressive. You're going to tell me there's not any fish up in this stuff? All right. I'm going to throw a swim bed around, make sure we're not missing anything here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sparse. It's, it's, it's not a, it's still thick. It's just. Okay. Hoping to, hoping that, well, they can see it here. They can see it and come up and bamboozle it. Really well where we just 
Come on, Bertha. This is just nice to look at right in here. Some amazing clean. Oh, God, he had it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a two pounder, but I would love to have him. Got him. Yeah, right in that gut. Beard, he ought to be in there. I don't know. Didn't hit it like a good one. Might have just been hung in grass. Yeah, he's hung in grass. The sweet sound of lying in grass. Oh, it's a decent one. Dang, dude. Dude, my two fish today are hammers. Goodness. Sally, come here. Oh. Come here, baby. Saucy swimmer. That one's pushing five, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> God, man, I've been working all day for that bite. Golly, y'all. Saucy swimmer coming through on fish number two. Good. All right, y'all, we're going to put this big Sally back in the grass. Can y'all see that? Look at that grass. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. She's ready to engage me. Nice. Boop. Right back in there. Saucy. Y'all. Just chunking them down these guts. So those bigger fish will set up like in the deep parts and wait to move up. And man, it just feels good. Came up here in our last area, clean water, deep, clear grass. Slow rolling, getting popped. Yeah. Just made my day. Made me feel alive. I'm telling you though, this technique, it is the jammer for big fish in the early part of the spring and fall. And uh, gosh, we've thrown it so many different uh, times of the year in, in grass though. It really seems to shine, is in the grass. Not that big, but boy, he grabbed it. Oh, yeah. Come here, son. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep, he was out there. He, he was in one of those holes. Look at that. Thick, healthy unit. It's not really a unit. It's just a little chub. But my... He's got two holes in his face. Somebody's caught him. Oh, well, he's got like four. Maybe he was on a bed. I don't know. Oh, man, that feels good. Man, that just feels good right there, man. I'll tell you what. I can feel the power. Is that a good one? It felt big. No, I foul hooked it or something. Oh, Never mind. I the big one. But oh, I'll, I'll dang sure take him. Oh, yeah. Man, y'all, change the day up right here. A couple of nice fish. Woo, give me a little wiggle there. Upward sniff. Oh, God, I love it, baby. Have yourself a very good new year. <laughs> yeah, a little extra for you guys. Hit the like button for that. Fishing Freaks, that's how I'm gonna end my day. It was a struggle to to get on a big one but man closing the day out with a five pounder after working real hard um and we rock fish two different techniques today he was punching in the grass with this right here um i was kind of on the outside so it's two different tactics you can do um you can check out the punching action um, which i i failed at over on rob's channel right here subscribe because i love you lfg signing off from the stumps wherever you are I hope you're having a very blessed day. God bless you. I'll see you on the next angle.